Soldiers on the Winding Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling the Season of Menagerie armor set. So this is a really cool armor set. I really do like this set considering a lot of the pieces are from like Destiny 1. Specifically for the Warlocks, you see the robes. The robes are very Destiny 1. A lot of the pieces are very Destiny 1 themed armor. Just be aware that the gems do not change color. So the purple gems don't change color. Also be aware that the actual armor pieces have a shader on them which is the shadow guilt which is a really good uh purple and gold if you can actually get the gold to pop up because the gold if i remember correctly is off color but for the armor itself we're looking at a 14 mobility which is trash for me trash uh definitely trash and not good it like 20 intellect is nice 10 recovery is also nice because you can bump it up to a 20 with a with a recovery mod but just the fact that mobility is that high just kind of bugs me because if the 16 was on the resilience then i think this would have been a lot better so warlocks you guys got l's but this armor is really good and i highly recommend a lot of these pieces if anything just at least get the chest piece and the helmet i think those two are the best pieces from this whole set and make sure that you at least take another thing so that way you can dismantle it so you can get the shader as for the titans you guys will notice that the purple gems also don't change color that's going to be a theme a theme throughout the, all of these armors the cool thing is the arms are really good if you want to do a small build for your titan i think the mark is easily one of the best pieces from this because it is from destiny one specifically one of the old uh marks from destiny one which i still miss and i think the helmet might be nice but other than that i'm not really using these pieces that much if i'm being quite honest as for what these pieces actually have the arms are actually pretty decent i would probably bump up the resilience a little higher so that way i can get a one 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 r or one 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 <laughs> actually it'd be two once i masterwork this but you'd be getting a two on resilience a one on recovery and a two on intellect once you masterwork this so that's pretty cool uh Chest piece is also pretty good. Uh, 22 recovery is really nice. 15 discipline is also really nice. If you want to do a grenade build, just bump up the discipline into another 10. So that way you can have a 25. Or if you want a little bit more resilience, you can bump up the resilience. But I would probably bump up the discipline and then just grab a resilience that's like really high. So that way it can equal out. For the helmet, 16 mobility is terrible. I'm going to ignore this. And this is very mediocre i mean i would pick it up if you don't have anything better but this is very mediocre i mean if you could if you bump up the recovery to a to a 19 that's nice i guess but yeah this is i mean it's technically a one on pretty much everything you want to see so there is that but as for the hunters a lot of pieces uh are from destiny one specifically the chest piece is the prodigal chest piece that prodigal vest if i remember correctly and the cloak is also from that set as well same thing with the helmet same almost same thing with the boots so again this is og destiny one armor just be aware that the purple gems don't change color unfortunately i say unfortunately because if it did this armor would be a tier for me because i really like destiny one armor but as for the stuff oh wow this is bad uh i mean i shouldn't say it's bad i think it's just it's bad. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, resilience, oh, dude, actually, if I bump up the mobility up to 10, that'd be pretty nice because then mm, I don't know. This one's this one's a maybe because the 23 strength is nice, especially if you go for a strength build because hunters have to have one now. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. This one, however, is pretty filthy, especially if you don't care about resilience. Um. This is good for PVE, PVP I mean. Uh, mobility, you can bump it up to a 17, it'll be up to a 19 once you masterwork it. 22, 24 when you when you masterwork it. I mean, this one look this one's all around good. If you don't have anything better, I mean, I'm going to pick it up because this is good, but I don't know if I'm going to use it, which is dumb of me to say. 22 resilience, bro. Oh wow, with the Man, if the recovery or the mobility was just a bit higher, I think this would be A tier. Still good. Don't get me wrong. 22 mo resilience is really nice. And that's natural too. So you can bump it up to a 32, which is already pretty gross. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. And then uh, pretty terrible boots. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let's look at the weapons. Dynamic sway reduction adrenaline junkie. Does it have any other things in it? It does not. 
I wouldn't recommend this and it has full board. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, I'm not, mm, stability is nice. I mean, if you don't have anything, if, if you don't have a Chroma Rush, let me just say this off the bat. If you don't have a Chroma Rush, pick this up. Chroma Rush is really good. It's one of the be better uh, auto rifles that we've had and it's a lot of fun. Uh, Cold Denial with Zen Moment Head Seeker. I'm not even gonna look at that. Triple Tap Range Finder uh, for an Exus draw? No, thank you, sir. Fractist, uh, Fractifist, uh, Ensemble Trench Barrel. Do you have another roll? No, I would, uh, unfortunate because this, this shotgun can roll with some weird shit or some good shit, I meant. Uh, quick Draw and uh, that one, no. Field Prep and Adrenaline Junkie. I mean, it's not bad. If you don't have this LMG, I would pick it up because it's a good void LMG. But the only thing is it's a rapid frame and I'm not really a big fan of rapid frame LMGs. And then Genesis and Thresh. Bro, if this had the one role that I'm looking for, I would have lost my shit. Because uh, if you guys don't know, this one is a precision frame. So you don't have to have auto loading or auto locking on the perks, which means you can have auto loading and uh, the one that like doesn't explode immediately. I don't remember what it's called. That's the role I've been hunting since this weapon came out. And then for the exotics, we have snapshot sights for Hawk Moon, which is pretty nice. I, I am tempted to pick that up. Dead Man's Tail with Moving Target, which uh, now that... Mm, maybe. I have that role. And for the other exotics, Tractor Cannon, which if you don't have this, this is a really good exotic to have for PvE or PvP. PvP is for a lot of fun because you can super people out or take people out of their super, which is hilarious. And for PvE, it's really good for, uh, for, uh, what's it called? Uh, debuffing enemies. Dragon's Shadow with, uh, holy fuck, 18 resilience? This is wild. I mean, this is usually a PvP exotic, so, um... You can bump up the mobility to another 10. That'll give you a 24 with a... Mm, this is pretty good. I mean, mm, I don't know, man. This is wild. Uh, for Lions Rampants, uh, mm, to be fair, you don't really need anything too crazy for Lion Rampants. You, you'll never have this outside of like jumping puzzles most of the time. Uh, Controverse Hold with some pretty terrible rolls among a lot of you guys. So... That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, let's see what exotic I get. Uh, I don't even want to look at that, but let's find it. Um, sealed Ahamkara Grants with, I didn't even look at the rolls. Oh man, man, that's disrespectful. Okay, so I'm erasing this for sure. Uh, that's disrespectful. Oh man, that's okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys don't know, uh, Twitter is currently going wild with uh, basically this. Actually, I should probably do a video on that separately when I talk about the gold, because I'll just give you a, like a short heads up where you where you, a lot of people are rocking gold this this uh, month because it's a child cancer or cancer awareness or something. I don't remember the specifics. I'll have it. I'll I'm going to go through all of the gold shaders in the game so that way. For people who don't have like certain golds, I can help you out with like which ones actually do have gold because a lot of shaders have a lot of gold in it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. I'm going to have this look for a separate video. So don't even think, oh, you didn't share this one. I am going to share this one. This is going to be for the new exotics that came out. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.